Blake, Blake had already, had already pulled, pulled the water and card from it. So well, that's what like I went to. I asked her. <laughs> Welcome to the Cowboy for Game Yu-Gi-Oh! podcast. Tonight I'm joined by Bragg. Hello. And Ben. Hello. And it is I, Jake. I really need to start saying my name first. I don't like saying my name first. I've never seen him first. Yeah, but it feels weird. I am your host, Jake. And welcome to the Cowboy for Game Yu-Gi-Oh! I'm always podcast. the host. <laughs> what if you're not the host one day? What if we get Yano to be the host? <laughs> <laughs> All right, how was our week in Yu-Gi-Oh? Ben? Um, it was fine. Yeah. I decided to switch over to playing Prank Kids Adventurer this week. Mm-hmm. Yeah, Adventurer. Still makes my skin crawl. <laughs> um, worked better, I guess, than, like, the PK build. Like, mm-hmm. it was a whole, hell of a lot more consistent, just because that's naturally what, like, Prank Kids is. Mm. I keep getting mixed up when I keep going to say PK. I'm like, that still is the initials of Prank Kids. <laughs> uh... Like, it works better, but you lose to more things. Um, I also... So on Sunday, things gone great. It was 2-0. Uh, round 3, I get, like... What was it? Imperm Nibiru? Yes. And I was like, oh, that sucks. And then on the ne- the very next round, I got evenly droploaded. And I was like, oh... Mm. Twice mm. in two rounds, my opponent has opened the two card combo that outs my entire board. Um, tonight went much better, I guess. Uh, I made it to the final and lost the final to Josh top decking in a beer on his <sighs> turn. But I also went the line of play that yeah. summons six cards on his turn, yeah. so that I could do the double regeki duster. Yeah. Yeah. Overextended then. Well, I had to do it to clear the board anyway. He opened Foxy, so like. Oh, right. Yep. Okay. Ship was going down regardless. Fucking Foxy. How does he draw any blood? He's a sacky piece of shit. That's how he does it. Fucking asshole. Yeah. He doesn't watch it. He doesn't watch this. Not anymore. We'll slag him off as much as we like. Brag. Yes. You're weak. I didn't make vocals, did I? No. I skipped the sneak peek, which we'll get to. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Oh, yeah. We well, sorry. Set premiere, 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 premiere. Sneak peek. Sneak peek. <laughs> Sneakers. I miss it. I miss it. I miss always spelling it backwards. The peek sneak. Peek sneak. Yeah. <laughs> Everyone always peeks at the sneak. You're right. Wait, is, this, is this a sneaker thing? No. No, I was making it a sneaker thing, but then you talk, talk over me, so. Oh, shut up. We move. Ah, <laughs> uh, otherwise, Master Jewel. Uh, I picked up Tri Brigade in it. <laughs> I mean, it's like eh, I can either do minor stuff with Eldritch, or I can actually learn what Tri Brigade does now. <laughs> Just play FTK. Well, I'm not playing FTK. Wait, your one? Yeah. Mm. It's so good. Um. Listening to the audio feed or yeah. the video feed. So pretty much um, never because I did all of those things. <laughs> yeah. Did you like? Did you like Tuesday's podcast with with Logan? That I haven't watched. Oh. So thankfully, you're talking about legacy formats. So. Well, and the set, and what's cool in the set. There's a massive investment tip in the Dragons Collide video and podcast. You should check it out. Um. Oh god, that's actually really bad. Uh, hit so I hit goal one, just as you guys walked in. Okay, hell yeah, so, and that was off the back of the tribal gate. Yeah, I mean I was climbing with Elvish anyway, but yeah, getting into that tri combo and finding out like all oh, because it's one thing to know a couple of those effects, but there's just so many hit points where I'm glad I've played the deck now to go off. Oh, if they're doing this, then it's under that, under that yeah. instead of learn by doing. So I've finally done. I have learned an 18 month year old deck. Yes. Yeah, it's getting about that. Yep. Yeah. Watch out, Zoomers. I'm on years. Uh, at least you didn't try and learn Tribal Bird. <laughs> that would have been a 
very oh, big. Yeah, question. how convenient. Actually, is Tribe Bird the best version? It was. Yes. It, on Master Jewel? Yes. Uh, mm. On Master Jewel, we'll get to that in a minute too. Mm. 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 Yes. Mm. Um, but yeah, so it's Trizu. Trizu. I miss Rat. <laughs> is Rat also at one in OCG? No, it's zero. Oh, zero. Yeah. No Rat. Yeah. That foolish Doodle Yeah uh, My week in Yu-Gi-Oh yeah. So um, While we're Sort of on the topic Of Master Duel um, I decided I'd put a, a deck of mine Together again In Master Duel In Ignisters Relatively cheap The the main thing Was Sino Mining That was the only Like expensive ultra I think I'd pulled Most of the other stuff And there was like Some random supers And stuff um, I did worse With that deck Than I have With any other deck That I tried <laughs> The problem is that it's so very geared into going first, and I lost all by one of my die rolls. No, oh, so okay. I was playing into like Drytron, like just these massive boards of like, oh, a normal summon. Oh, you disrupted my normal. Okay, I, I, I literally can't play now. Awesome, thanks for that. Um, and the one game that I actually got like the whole combo off is playing trains. And it's just some of the big ass train that goes to 6k, and my boy's only on 4k. Choo -choo. Oh, yeah, I love that. <laughs> that stupid train deck where you're like, no, it's only 3,500, I'm so weak. And then train go boom. <laughs> yeah, well, that used to be the case. My thing's on 4k. It used to be the case that 35 is the highest they can get. They can yeah. get the 6k now yeah. and attack multiple times. And you're like, oh no, I'm, I'm about to lose all my life points with a 4,000 creature on board. It doesn't make sense. Stupid trains so fucking annoying and not only that like he added the big thing I was like okay cool so I'll go the access code line and kill him next turn he had the fucking machina trap set as well uh, so <laughs> then he had machina pop on my turn as well I was like this is outrageous so yeah I put that deck away after losing four or five times um, went back to mech knights and got back to where I was so yeah that's where that is um, yeah, yeah, top tip. Unless you know you're going to win the die roll, don't play Mr. on Basketball. It is not good. Just play FTK, Jake. No. It's the best deck in the game. The only FTK I would play is Mech Knight, Extract Loop, and Uses of One. So it's near impossible. Just play FTK. No. It's the best deck in Basketball. Again, we'll get to that in a minute. Um, so in the real world, I'm also playing Mech Knights, <laughs> and it's also doing relatively well. Um, Tonight, I didn't have the DPE package in there because um, I'd been borrowing, borrowing Lewis's engine for a couple of weeks and I gave him his stuff back because I've got it all now, but I just didn't bring it with me. So I was playing more mech nighty pieces, which felt nice because I didn't open like random pieces of garbage that didn't do anything for the deck, and that deck's bricky enough on its own. Um, the only like really bad loss I had was against uh, Sword Soul, which is always going to be a tough matchup anyway. And then... Um, like, I just opened a handful of, like, the ones that can't summon themselves going first because my opponent knew I was playing Mech Knights. Fun. Mm. Um, but, yeah, um, so doing relatively well. Might switch it up. Um, well, actually, yeah, the plan is to switch it up and play the Mech Knight hand loop once I get some props. Because, again, you don't see gear, so it doesn't matter. Fucking props. So, like, I just want that reprint. I don't want to... I don't want to get it on right. Well, I'm, I'm borrowing them because I'm not paying fucking so four hundred and fifty dollars for an SDK. So far away, but I just I want it out of the way. It's, this is straight out pod duality shit all over again. Where it's like this card's good. It's your option. So many, so many decks. You have one choice, one choice only, and it's like four hundred dollars. Not for me. We can just craft it. We yeah, it's a super master. <laughs> yeah, it's super. Yeah, let's crush up all our super cards and no, walk I've, up to I've, Konami HQ. I've, I've dusted so yeah. many guys. I've dusted my supers. Please give, give me bros. <laughs> <laughs> um, so then, um, as we mentioned, we had the pre release, the premiere, the sneak peek of Battles of Chaos on the weekend. Um, I believe just you were participating in the actual sneak peek, is that yes. right? Yes. How'd you do? I only lost once. It was fine. Uh, didn't open either of the two cards that were busted. So I was like, it is what it is. What happens, happens. However, I did pull 
my pulls for my packs were great. So like I got my five entry packs because we did draft format for it. So I pulled a secret and ultra for my five packs, then got good. two bonus packs and pulled an ultra and a secret. So mm. I was like, can't complain. They weren't good secrets, but they were secrets. They were secrets. Yeah. I feel like for the longest time, at least, like as long as they have been doing the pre-release sort of draft thing, the only one where it was like a good thing to get the best cards of that set was the Draco format. Yeah, yeah. Because I remember in Nara, Boston. Yeah, in Nara, I got um, Masterpiece and I just trounced <laughs> <was> everybody. Because <laughs> there were so many, like, not just the um, Draco like spells and traps, but there were so many heaps of random continuous traps that you could just yeah. run. And you just like stall out your opponent as you do in that thing. Summon masterpiece. It's like, oh, you can't negate the summon. Good, because it's unaffected by everything now, and now you're going to die. <laughs> so yeah, and there just hasn't been any set where it's like you can pull the good card and also play it. Yeah. I remember it was Invasion of Vengeance. Everyone was like, "Gotta pull Toad. Gotta pull Toad. Gotta pull Toad." It's like but you can't. There's not, the no code. mechanic in the deck for you to summon it. Yeah. So it's great to pull it, because I think at that point it was a very expensive card It was as well. very expensive. But, like, it wasn't helping you to win more packs. So you'd almost prefer to, like, pull some decent cards for the thing yeah. and then win more packs. Yeah. We haven't done draft for a while, though, have we? No, because um, it hasn't been, like, an official thing for a while. Yeah. Well, like, it's still not an official thing. I think no, just you, you No, well, they say you can run it how you like. You don't have to do any specific format. Oh, cool. You can just sell product early and then do what you like with it. I just yeah. think the drafts are generally a more engaging way to do it rather than just, like, I'd fun. like seven boxes, please. Oh, yeah. I didn't pull well. Give me another three. Like, <laughs> Yeah. Yeah, we'll get to that. We ran out of product. Yeah, funny that yeah um i bought a box as well um i didn't get there for the pre-release part of it um my pools were kind of trash to be real um i didn't even get like the cool ultra book of mooning thing that mm. i wanted like i would have been happy if i got that yeah where you was like oh cool i would have liked to have that eventually i'll take souls from this huge need i've just made yeah pretty much like pretty much everybody wanted stuff from my thing but none of those things were expensive you like you, Geek Boy. Yeah, I got Geek Boy and the Field Spell, which Ben got. Did I got the know? Rank 8 Zombie Vampire thing, which Costa got. Um, I got some commons that Andrew wanted. Not that I wouldn't go and get commons in a whole box, but... But he then played at Locals and wasn't allowed to. No, not that common. Not Different that common. common. Different yeah. common. Yeah, Andrew forgot what sneak peeks were, and that he wasn't allowed to play the mutant cards yet. So he decided to play the mutant cards. So that was funny. Um... Yeah, I think that, that pretty much covers the pre-release, other than lack of product. Yes. End of day, no product left. Okay. I mean, oh. kind, of, kind of no product left. Like, the product that was opened was, like, pretty good. Yeah, what was there? Three Illusion of Chaos pulled? So yeah, three Illusion, a Starlight, Jet Dragon. No DM, though. No DM. There was no DM in the case. Yeah. Speaking of which, the pull rates on those seem to have been highly exaggerated as to how hard it was to get that in first the initial it, release. Was like one per six cases, one per six cases. Yeah. So people were asking like yeah. between twelve to two k on a in card. Japan. That card is hard to get. Yeah, and I suppose it's because they had from the start a designated amount that they printed. Whereas yeah. it seems with this one, they're just like there's it's some. Bad. <laughs> you find it, you find it. It's the same pull rate as 10,000 dragon. Yeah, right. And those did become more common Yeah, eventually. And it'll probably end up like 10,000 dragon and that you could probably get one for like maybe 6, 7 or something at the moment. Maybe a bit less depending on who you buy from. 10,000 dragon's the, really expensive. It's expensive now. Yeah. But it wasn't super expensive for a time. Yeah, it's yo-yoed quite a lot. Yeah. It'll go from like being worthless to being worth a lot to worthless to worth a lot. Yeah. I wonder what that Utopia is worth at the moment. Because the, the oh, Leviathan Dragon one. did not do very oh, well. Oh, no, not at all. That's like 100 bucks at the moment. Yeah, it's super cheap. Frank's considering what decks he can play Leviathan Dragon in. That was, it was... It did its job. Leviathan Dragon doesn't get enough rep for what it did. A cute little thing. I mean, if all of them can get Astral Text, this could be a thing eventually for a few people. 
those number hunters. Yeah. They need their memories back. I've um, never watched. I don't know. That's I, I think that's a Zexal reference. Didn't watch it. Sorry, I did die. Listeners. I didn't like looking at the main character. I think that was my yeah. main issue. Looking, his face annoyed me. And his voice. I was just out of Yu Gi Oh through Synchro on Xyz. Oh yeah, but there's time to go back. Uh, like I've not watched Five Days either. Xyz format was really good. Uh, yeah. I remember being like, "What the fuck are these white cards? I ain't playing this shit." And I stopped playing Yu Gi Oh. <laughs> yeah, I think when like because we were just playing Synchro was silly. Xyz, I think, was a well-managed format. That's actually... Yeah. That's something we should discuss. Enough. Weirdly, I was like, yeah, fuck Synchros. What's this white shit? And then I came back and I was like, this Pendulum Summon does hit different, though. <laughs> 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 oh, no, you wiped my board. I'll do it again. <laughs> so good. Pendulum was really good, though. Originally, I came back in the game. Pendulum, pendulums were a thing, and I was like, "Oh, so it's just a monster that you can activate as a spell trap card that has a spell trap effect." Yeah, and, that and then someone was like, "Yeah, yeah, yeah," but then you can summon every monster you have that has levels between these numbers, and I was like, "This shit's fucking busted." Yeah, <laughs> and if they're the same ones that can be spells, they don't die; <laughs> they just go they away just for a little while. Come back next turn. <laughs> that was the fucking. Uh, so at that point, that was the fucking worst thing about it. It's just like you clear the board it's just like oh okay yeah. I passed her with a couple monsters oh okay they're back <laughs> they literally just invented a summoning mechanic for plot armor in an anime and then a few years later they were like oh, this was a mistake <laughs> when we gave them plot armor in anime we gave them plot armor in real life let's get rid of this shit yep was that one of the series they ended early yeah makes sense all of them have ended early right yeah. Um, didn't 5Ds end early? You're asking the wrong people. Nah, 5Ds five, five got its full run. Because we didn't get the... Five seasons in a movie. I made that up. If it's right, that's a good <laughs> guess, but... Master it makes Jewel? sense. Um, yes, Master Jewel. Um, ladder stories. Do we have any ladder stories this week? Yeah, I, I guess... Kind of, I kind of... I just blew my load on that one already. Yeah. <laughs> I also haven't played Master Jewel this week have you been logging in to get your daily bonuses no I haven't had time to do shit this week you literally log in and get gem it's, it's also not, it's actually I, not it's... I've legitimately not had time to do anything I had a three day weekend and I don't know what I did <laughs> um, but on that news there was an interview released from Konami oh, yeah. uh, from the developer um, or one of the developers I should say I don't know who he was um, I was informed by someone who was somewhat you gear that he was the lead developer. Lead developer. Mm. Did his dad work for Konami? <laughs> <laughs> um, so yeah, I'll quickly read through some of this because it is quite a long document. Um, so apparently it went into production during spring of 2019, so long before COVID was a thing, and it still took this long, and it's still riddled with problems. But anyway. Um, it's, not it's not that bad but for something that worked two and a half years on you'd think it'd be more polished like I don't want roller skates as my mate and if I did I'd want them to do something I see the thing that perplexes me most about those ba- mates is they're not the default ones you just get no you I get expected, rescue rabbit yeah. as your normal thing I thought all that shit would just be the default garbage and you had to unlock everything else hmm. instead it's like ah here's the good shit have it cool I have no need to change Rescue Rabbit because he dabs. Dab for me, Jake. Just no. Um, what, what's your, your buddy Rescue Rabbit too? No, I changed mine to uh, Cliff on my life. <laughs> I did have Guard Dragon. I in respect there for a, a man. <laughs> with just straight up. He's there. There's no fucking around. Hear me out. Yeah, I can play. No about dabbing. Him. No <laughs> zombie anime, anime waifus. <laughs> Zombu. They they need to put <laughs> Alistar as a buddy in the game. And every time you normal mm-hmm. Alistar, he just looks up and goes. <laughs> but if you normal someone Punches something different, he looks at you really sad and then points at himself. <laughs> <laughs> when you normal summon Alistar and he gets negated, the mate Alistar passes you a copy of invocation. Ah, <laughs> <laughs> oh, I opened it anyway. <laughs> um what else we got? Uh designed to be a game. Let's do this. 
uh, take things to the next level. So it's meant to be like a progression from Duel Links, as far as I'm aware, like to build people up, I guess. Um, one of the hardest things of developing the game was ensuring crossplay and how the games would work on consoles and smart devices. I guess it just works, like yeah. Apparently, like I haven't downloaded it on my phone because apparently it's available pretty much on every console now. Um, but I, I hear the phone's a little laggy. That's where yeah. I should be doing my dailies, logging in the yeah. phone. Right? Yes, get your twenty gems. Um, Solo mode was a later addition, as the game was originally intended solely for hardcore duelists, but they found PvP, PvP alone made the game a bit too hardcore. Which I find really sad that they didn't think that it was going to be a thing to begin with, because I really enjoyed solo mode, and if they don't bring out more, I will riot. They need to bring out Dragon Maid solo mode. And then they'll be like, guys, we did it. Here's Dragon Maid solo mode, and you get to the part where you have to play with a full power Dragon Maid deck, and it's like, here's three laundry and one of the others. They'll fucking do that. Like, after playing the Gem Knight one, that oh, would not surprise me in the slightest. Some, some of those decks are so tragic. Yeah. In the so Gem Knight one, they're tragic. like, we're going to give your opponent effectively full power Gem Knight. Here's this pyro shit. Like, this fucking sucks. Half the time, I couldn't even make a fusion in that. I had to, like, surrender at least seven times oh. before I got a competent hand. Like, I know Gem Knight's close to inside and out, and playing that list was fucking trash. You basically just had to open decent and hope your opponent bricked. There was a lot of bad ones. Um, what was another one that was really bad? The fucking... I've talked about it before, the Mech Knight Earth's Arctic, because they're just like, hey, level sevens. <laughs> You're like level sevens, don't you? <laughs> I don't, think I, hit, I don't think I've unlocked that. I think I've... I've got to get good. Got to oh. get there, Brag. Got to get there. Um, the game is designed to have tournaments that will make you want to make use of as much... No. That, that is worded I've fucking Make tragic. you want to duel. <laughs> make use of as much of the card pool as possible and not strictly to one metagame deck. Master Duel is intended, at the very least, to be an event at the Yu-Gi-Oh! World Championships. Um, Master Duel will be sticking to best of one. There is nothing indicating best of three at this time, and it was intended as an eSport. Um, and I don't, I think I may have skipped it, but there was originally something in there um, that, yes, here we go. Um, it uh, will have its own forbidden and limited list separate from the official card and training game. Um, so as detriment to my speculation uh, before they won't be changing to TCG slash OGD lists anytime soon it seems to be fair Jake there was a, a gentleman who said that it would be switching to TCG and OCG lists and that man is Jerome the head of Konami USA <laughs> the did. guy that was like in the trailer oh don't worry guys you can play the TCG and OCG formats no, you fucking can't. <laughs> Maybe as special events as opposed to everyday play. Um, but yeah, in terms of the best of one, I don't actually hate that. Like, it sucks when you verse fucking trains or shit like that. That's just like, yeah, you got blitzed by some random ass deck. It sucks to be you. <laughs> um, but I also like the fact that it's not like you have to then fucking grind all your gems to get decent side cards and all that kind of shit. Yeah, true. I'm, I'll probably just buy the second gold by now. But it's its own format. I'm just going to buy the second gold by. Yeah, at some point I need to do that. I've got a second cross out now. Um, I've got a second imperm. Because now I've got to a point where like I'm, I'm satisfied with the actual deck cores I have. I don't really need to buy anything else for the moment. I just need to actually get staples. So now I can just grind and get staples. I want to do Battle Pass. Have you finished Battle Pass yet? I finished it ages ago. Yeah. I finished it not all that long ago, but uh, yeah, from what I can see, like, it's still got, like, a month and a half yeah. left. I I get that you have a Battle Pass every few months, but, like, fuck, it's not that. Like, if you get to Plat 1, you finish the Battle Pass. Yeah. Hmm. First one more Battle Pass. Hmm. But, yeah, some interesting stuff in there. Um... As well as that, we do have a metagame breakdown of what has been happening in the first season of Master Duel. Well, this is like tournaments, I think they're held in rooms and yeah, stuff. Yeah, it so... says tournaments and stuff, so it's obviously very specific, but um, like, it, you're going to assume it's top tier play. 
Gem Knight FTK is not going to be there because people are too nice to play Gem Knight FTK at top tier events. Yes, and that's purely because the OCG don't like it. Yeah. yeah Despite it being full power. Yeah. Because um, I can't remember where I heard it. I think it was in a stream by MB- MBT, but it was like by proxy of someone else that said it to him that their play style is not to win, it's to not lose. So they won't play a cards that are outrageously unfair to their opponent for the sake of winning. They'll just play cards that allow them to win while giving a chance to their opponent for sort of even play, I guess. Which makes the game a whole lot more fun, but at the same time, like, it's definitely not an attitude that's shared by the English-speaking regions. Hear me out, everyone in the OCG. (laughs) No. (laughs) Just win. You don't have to let your opponent play. Just win. When you think about it, though, like a lot of the more prevalent FTKs have probably been sourced or derived from English-speaking regions. Like, Danger Dark World FTK was absolutely an uh, English-speaking and thing. then they, when they got Dark World, that was the one FTK where they played a lot. Did they? I thought they yeah. got, lim- like, hit, like, before they even had it. No, I think they had Danger Dark World at full power. Like, we had it kind of restricted. They had it at just full power. Hmm. I, I, I had it remembered that they didn't, but I yeah. could be wrong. Because it was, like, the best deck for a while. And it didn't get addressed on a ban list, and it was just continued being the best deck. Maybe it wasn't that prevalent then, because usually those kinds of things, if people are playing them very heavily, yeah. they get hit. So maybe it is sort of falling back into that attitude if they don't like to play them that much. I think the logic was they got it at the same time as they got Nibiru and stuff. So oh, Konami so they was were like, Nibiru would address the it's issue. It's okay, there's only a, a month and a half left in this format, Nibiru will sort it out, and it didn't sort it out, and they were like, Fuck, mm. we've now got to wait three months to release a ban list. Yeah. And then they murdered their all of their danger cards, like we did here. Tends to happen. Um, but for the uh, metagame breakdown of these selected tournaments, uh, we have 28.3% of Tri Brigade. Um, we have a breakdown as well. We have 14 Zodiac Tri and 3 Normal Tri. I did say 14, didn't I? Yeah. Yeah, sure. Yeah. 14 and 3. Yeah, so 17 in total. Uh, 10 Virtual World, 6 Eldritch, 5 Pure Zoo, so Zoo's Turbo, uh, 4 Adamantipator, which is de- just a deck that I've not seen on yeah, Ladder at all. all, which is good because I fucking hate it. Because you mix it with Gem Knight FTK. Shut up! <laughs> uh, 4 Drytron, 2 Prank Kids, 1 Chaos Thunder Dragon, 1 Cyber Dragon, 1 Danger Dark World, 1 Dinosaur, 1 Dogmatic and Revoked, 1 Junk Doppel, Eh? Why the fuck is someone playing Junk Doppel at this thing when they could have been playing a better deck? Uh, one Phantom Knights, one Sky Striker, one Tribrigade Birds, one True Draco, and one Utopia, and one that Zephra. Deck. That deck. What, Utopia? Yeah, it's just so annoying. It is very annoying. I max seed them and they still won. I was very annoyed. <laughs> the one time I played against that Junk Doppel deck, I ashed their Junk Speed up and they immediately lost. It, it do be like that like it's a super vulnerable card and if they can't chain block it then they're kind of screwed I was just like wait I drew my one of Ash Blossom and <laughs> when was it one as well and you're using your one card that relies on your entire deck Ash oh that worked <laughs> you're dead now <laughs> so when do you think we get a new ban list do you think it'll be in time with it will come out in the same rotation as OCG maybe probably this game probably seems so. to be very OCG devoted. Well, that's where the origin, like the current list, comes from. It's like derivation oh. of yeah, like last year's or the year before's even. Yeah, well, here's list. yeah, here's April twenty twenty one OCG list and no dragoon, <laughs> just dragoon. Everything else fine. That DM boy being ridden by his dragon. <clears throat> I don't know if that's exactly what the artwork is, but sure. Yeah. It's, you tell me that's not corrupting the minds of children. <laughs> it's, it is. Just imagine every time you summon a dragoon, it's all been happening because Dark Magician and Red Eyes fucked. <laughs> um, I'd like to apologise to Loz and Muse at this point <laughs> for disrespecting your boy. I mean, we definitely hit a few talking points about Discord call last night. <laughs> As he 
lost a 50 minute game oh my god <laughs> fire prison to a weird uh, invokes not, oh uh, numero witchcrafter witchcrafter what yeah the fuck? actually i've seen i've versed that deck a lot too um it's just really annoying because fucking golem every time i go to target shit they just have this fucking random ass non-targeting hand trap i'm like fuck off the funniest thing about playing the deck that i'm playing i have no fucking clue what my opponent's playing ever oh, fan of a blade card so i'm just like all right so we need future to... reference you when the... we talk about normal game he talks about <laughs> Dragon Maid. Yes. When we talk about Duel, Master Duel, yeah. he only talks about Gem Knights. Yes. Because there's no need to think outside of Gem Knight FTK. You don't need to worry about anything else. When The only card pool that matters I'm is Gem Knight FTK and Hand Traps. I'm glad for the rest of the player traps. base that he hasn't been able to play for several, some time because they've been saved this... This. Yes. When the former Lachlan of this apartment disappeared into the night <laughs> who of your two remaining children did you expect to be carrying on like this you thought it was me you never expected this from him did you well from the stories that were told about you before the former Lachlan left of you being up at 2am practicing scrap combos I did have my my concerns but here we are FTKs. <laughs> FTK best deck. Everywhere. FTK best deck. If there's an FTK that I can break, I'll break it. Not in the TCG though. I'm sorry, did I Master Most Monster Gate does not get put to one? It did, that's what I'm saying. Exactly. Yeah, yeah, so he got, he got. They had to personally address me. Yes, just you. Literally yeah. nobody else. Jerome walked in and he was like, They fucked me on Master Duel, I'm a fuck Ben. <laughs> and I was like Okay, Jerome. Chill out, bro. Jerome is a loyal audience member. He would be after you. He is. He is. He watches every episode. Um, so, uh, we have a new card for Red Eyes. Apparently another child of the... Um... <laughs> oh, before we move on from Master Jewels. Mm -hmm. We sunk any money into this thing? Nope. Yes. <laughs> I get very bored. <laughs> And I like to open packs. <laughs> Man, like, leaves locals today and they're like, Oh, you opened a fresh box? Eat, please. I like to open ah, packs. So, then, it definitely wasn't fresh when I was... Getting no, it packed. wasn't. It was, it was half. Yep. And Blake, Blake had already, already pulled, pulled the water in hand from it, so... Let's well, sort of, like... I went to... I asked her... <laughs> I'm like... Blake been here at work? He goes, yeah, he said, I'm like, no, 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 you've already answered my question. He's like, oh, he totally, I'm like, no, Blake's been here at Impacts. Of course he's pulled the good shit. <laughs> Always. Well, maybe twice. I mean, it was him that pulled the Jet Dragon, right? Yes, he also pulled the Starlight Jet Dragon. <laughs> Just, it's not the fact that he pulled the Starlight Jet Dragon that annoyed me, it's the fact that now I had no excitement for my box took away all of my desire to open my box I was just like oh there's no starlight in it that's that how I felt with this... 10, 10k yeah it's like, this set's shit the starlight was the only thing I had to look forward to and not having the thrill of having it in my box is just like oh it's kind of a buzz kill isn't it she really because the 10k one we're, like, we're walking home going oh when we left good games no one's pulled the like any of the starlights yet or the 10k res or whatever it's like oh maybe 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 sit down the table here getting ready and goes oh Billy did he's cracked too him Kyra like yeah he pulls good stuff and then immediately wastes it and Luke they should change the change the fortunes of the world although from what Kyra tells me her luck has somewhat evaporated of late and she's not been pulling that well but just wait until ATS comes around I'm just not a tri brigade I want a starlight eventually I spent a bit of money too. I'm not sure if we should disclose how much. Oh, I'm definitely not disclosing. <laughs> it's, Zero. it's it's not that much. I tried to spend money and it wouldn't let me, and I was like, "Yeah, I've had a couple of those." I'm instances. not spending money then. I've had a couple of those instances where I've jumped on and like the server's just been super laggy and it's just not like actually done the transaction. So I'm like, "Fine, I'll come back later." <laughs> 
Do you have a solemn judgment? Do you have a solemn judgment? A solemn judgment? Yes. In, okay. Do you have a lightning storm? Yes. Do you have an ash? Yes. Okay. That, I bought those three immediately with the initial ones that I got. I bought those in the battle pass. Oh, they just yeah. bought... Well, Actually, I bought, bought the, the battle pass a, a bit later than that. That's probably why I didn't get there as fast as everybody else did, because I didn't. it wasn't the first thing that I bought. Yeah. Just slap that battle pass immediately. Well, now that I know, I probably will. Although it'll be interesting to see what we get next season, like in yeah. terms of like the fifteen hundreds. Well, pretty much, <laughs> it's different pots. It paid for itself, didn't it? It did. Yeah. Yeah, it pays for itself if you complete it, and you get extra shit. Yeah. I still haven't changed my avatar. Why would you rescue rabbit? Not the buddy. I'll tell you a little picture. Guess what mine is? Is there a dragon babe? No. Is there a gem knight? Yes. Oh, amethyst? No. Oh. What was the other is one? It, I'm a, oh, oh, the rock the, dragon is it, thingy? Isn't that the head of Master Diamond? Yes. Yeah. What was the first one I said? Amethyst. <laughs> it's Master Diamond. Yeah, no, because you get like the boss of each deck as a avatar. Yeah. It's Master Diamond with the platinum square. I can't remember. I think I have the Shiranui thing as mine because it was the closest to a human that I could find. <laughs> Actually, no, that's not true. I think they have Avramax as one of them, too. I should probably put that in there. Still an upstart goblin. Jake plays RPGs as a straight, white, brown-haired male. Pretty oh. much all I used to play when I was a kid. Like, just Final <laughs> Fantasy all the time. I had the ponytail one in, um, in Arceus. I've got white dreadlocks in Arceus. And you're having a go at me. White dreadlocks. Man's appropriating and wants to have a go at me. It's Arctic. It's the worst counter trap ever. Appropriation. Let's move. So we have, um, as I was saying before, oh, yes. the new child of uh, the Dragoon Dark Magician yeah, love affair. That filth. Uh, red eyes, black meteor dragon, level six dark dragon effect monster. Attack and defense both two K. Can only use the first and second effect of this card's name each once per turn. You can send one level 5 or higher normal monster from your hand or deck to the graveyard, as cost. Special summon this card from your hand, then increase its level by 1. During your main phase, accept the turn this card is sent to the graveyard, banish this card, add one Red Eyes Fusion from your deck to your hand. So, lately, I say lately, but it's been a little while. Every time Konami's done, like, legacy support, they've for some reason just made it a different fucking level, and they've been like... Now modify this level to the level you want it to be. Like, Jinzo was like that. The new yeah. Jinzo was a 7, and then it becomes a 6. This Red Eyes is a 6 and becomes a 7. Like, what's the point? Yeah, I don't understand. Like, I guess it makes it so that, like... I oh know, because it's mandatory increase. There's no benefit to being level 6 in hand. It is simply the fact that you can tribute 1 instead of tribute 2. I suppose, That's the but only logic I can see. Shit? Does it level only increase when you normal or special? Yeah. Or is it special only? Uh, only when you special summon it. <laughs> it's dumb. There's only one normal summon I need. Oh. Oh, we've lost the lighting group. Hmm. We have entered darkness. Do we reset? We're back again. <laughs> yep. Uh, lighting rig fixed. Uh, so, hero stuff. Oh, yeah, um, this is shit. <laughs> yeah, it's... it's it's pretty tragic it's real long shit uh, so we've got the duelist portfolio uh, we've got the deck box which is probably the highlight of them all yeah. to be honest with the sky sky skyscraper artwork on it um, we've got the miracle fusion sleeves those are kind of decent they're okay and then <laughs> my first have... PNG playmat <laughs> I... that is so fucking tragic who in their right I. It's bad. Yeah. It's really bad. It's one thing that like they yeah, gave this out as like a promotional thing at like a side event for, for a YCS, mm -hmm. like a winner match. Sure, mm -hmm. that's fine. To ask anybody to pay money for this, it's fucking terrible. If you haven't oh, seen Lord. it already, treat yourselves because oh, it's a great way to learn how fucking Microsoft Paint works. They've literally just cut and pasted the artworks of like all the original fucking elemental heroes mm -hmm. onto a map. I really hope that they just leave the sample on. 
just for the <laughs> just ship it with sample <laughs> written across the front. Honestly, it's so, so funny. I would laugh real hard. I'd buy it. I'd be Sorry. like, this is fucking dumb. They haven't just done that. Sorry, I'm I'm underselling what they've done. They've also done like the watermark of the hero symbol. That is all. That is all of this matters. See? The watermark. Oh. Okay. See? In the yeah, middle? Yeah, yeah, yep. yeah, yeah, yeah. They put in a modicum of effort. But that is it. They just, that is they sad. Cut them all, they put them all in, row by row by row, and then just put the market watermark over the top and turn down the transparency. Yeah. That's, That's it. It's so fucking tragic. Just the man at Konami Dude. goes. Job well done, guys. This will be a million dollar product. I wonder how much they do make from those mats at the end. Well, they're selling them at $30 RRP. They probably make. Or eighteen bucks on the playmat. The stores make six bucks on the playmat. Or oh, make the the rest, I guess. If they sell fifty thousand playmats, that's a decent chunk of change. Mm. That's five hundred thousand dollars. However, we do not encourage you to buy any of this product. Really, don't buy this. Don't support it's this. It's really bad. Yeah, do not encourage this behavior. This this will not stand. I had someone order the. IP Mascarina binder for home delivery today, and I was like, "Ah, oh, that's where Anon lives." Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> FBI, open up! I'm going to submit this traffic, this address for a uh, yeah review. Hello, Mr. Policeman. Um, on to our comments. Um, so we've got some on our YouTube comments, but um, a lot of our activity comes through our Discord. The link is in the description. Feel free to join. Um, have a chat with the lads, ask us questions, um, get updates as to when the content's coming out. I was just pointing. Oh, you're just pointing to the link. Okay, pointing. yeah. Check where he's pointing. There. Yeah. Um, so from YouTube, we have uh, Nicholas Smith on our ban list fallout video. I'm with Ben. I'm not a fan of how it seems like you need to remove the streamlining quality of the deck just to put Brave in, which is in relation to your PK Brave results. Yeah. Um, PK being prank kid. Um, PK was PK. Yeah. Um, and then Loza on that same video. Dark is the best generic card in Battles of Chaos. Mm. Shit's busted. I mean, the doesn't too. Yeah. yeah. The dark. 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 I don't think I pulled a single one of those, and I swear it's a super. I don't know. I think. No, I pulled a couple. You got me one. No, I took those. Josh pulled them and I was like, fine. Give. give he was like, give, 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 give. oh, what do you need him for? I was like, me and Bragg. Just didn't doesn't talk matter. about he... payment or anything I got. I was like, fine. He doesn't need them anyway. There's no darks in Talon. I got Pendulum Chicken today off Bleak, so now I can build BDDs. Oh, <laughs> Griffin. Oh. Yeah. Did a Griffin. Pendulum Chicken. I need side sleeves. Someone find me side sleeves, please. I need... Yeah, Ultra I was thinking. 100 count side loaded inner sleeves. They're just gone. I'm out. Yeah, I've got like none left. I need to sleeve an entire UD deck. I'm still single sleeving at the moment. I only double sleeve the extra deck. Because with, like, I don't like the main deck with the over sleeves, mm. which is what I've done on the extra. And I'm scared with the perfect fit inner sleeves that some of the ulties because they're so thin will bend as I go to put them in yeah. and I really don't want like a massive crease in the middle of my ulties so I've only fucked one card was it Chamber Dragon Maid? no it was an ulti twin twisters <laughs> you've got ulti twins? yeah damn okay I've had them since it came out I just never saw them there's one sitting in the yeah, store that I, I've been I got to get. them and then and just never just left the format and it never came back how many is in, how many is in the store? Perfect for my place. <laughs> Fuck you, back. I hate, I hate you so much. <laughs> uh, from our Discord, we have uh, Doctor Hypersonic, who I still don't know his actual name. Um, it's Gerald. Yeah, please no. Um, <laughs> she just insulted your name, Gerald. I will insult any man named Gerald. <laughs> if you ever go to his medical practice, you see at the door it's Doctor Gerald Hypersonic. <laughs> DMD. Shut the uh, Dr. Hypersonic asks well he asked several questions but we're going to save those for later mm -hmm. uh, do you think OCG or 2CG players are more skilled 
Most of your players are more skilled. There is no, there is no second but guessing not, that. But if they're not playing FTKs, are they that skilled? No, yeah, because they don't need between... FTKs to win. So unlike some weak bitches, FTK brain is like giant. Mm-hmm. Like not FTK brain is like this. Oh. So it, we're talking about like just this level of thought. What's TCG? player tcd is like tcg player on the floor. like yeah monkey on the floor hitting, <laughs> okay, cool. hitting thing um yeah, it's, yeah they probably are better it's shown by our world stuff like yes we're adapting pretty heavily to their format but they're also adapting heavily to ours and we just get fucking trounced because they spend their whole time being like how do i play around max c here and then they shot to worlds and they're like i'm just gonna fucking pop off <laughs> <laughs> yep i've literally yeah. got nibiru to worry about and that is it Man, uh, we, we haven't had a Worlds with Nibiru. No. No. Hmm. Interesting. Haven't had the Worlds with yeah. Elder It's been so fucking long since we had a Worlds. 2019. Well, apparently, from the sounds of that thing about Master Duel, they intend to have one soon. Which I got be nice. my I got my invite to WCQ soon. I know, same thing. Hopefully, I actually do something it's this time around. Likely in Brisbane. I'd actually really be happy if it was in Brisbane. Brisbane was a good time last time. Yeah. Someone, mm. someone stole my Qualifies. fucking room. What? <laughs> what? Oh, when we went to Brisbane for um, Oceanics slash um, Nats, um, just by me and another person having done all of the legwork to like organize everything someone walked in is like i take main bed i'd like to point out that i was asking brag what he was talking about not jake he was laughing about I didn't, the same thing. didn't want to discuss jake problems well unfortunately we've reached that part of the podcast we where i discussed my life issues yeah we've reached the jake hour <laughs> i don't need an Jesus hour podcast. my life's not that bad <laughs> Bragg is deep in thought. Mm. Dr. A. A. Ron Braggio. No, 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 no. Nothing. Well, then, we'll conclude the podcast. Uh, thank you all very much for listening and watching. Um, so feel free to uh, pass us around, let your friends know, join our Discord, like, subscribe, comment, and we'll see you next time. FTK. <laughs>